What is going on my guy? How is your Sunday going sisters? So today I was looking at my wardrobe and it kind of reminded me of a video that I did like at the very start of the year where I threw out a lot of my clothes. I made a big massive deal about it. I was fully on this new year, new me flex. And I tell you what, a lot has happened this year. I moved out of a small flat into a not as small flat. We've done a little bit of sick mate merch, met some cool people, learned a lot, and now we are here in this very moment in time. So you already know what we're gonna talk about today. It was in the title of the video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my summer wardrobe, just all the things that I've been wearing recently. Quick little disclaimer, there's nothing like mega hype in this collection. It's definitely been a broke boy season. Now, if you're looking at the rail behind me, you can tell that it's mainly t-shirts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, let's say 12 t-shirts I've been wearing. So vintage graphic t-shirts have definitely been at the forefront of my style this season. It's mainly just a bunch of stuff that I've collected through thrift stores, curated vintage stores. I haven't really bought anything new this year. I think at this point I am incapable of spending more than 10 pounds on anything, but it's calm. I've got plenty of things to show you today. And if you wanna know how I've been styling these outfits, I do post frequently on my Instagram page. I'll also be using that as B-roll as well. So. I hope you're ready for our slideshow. All right, enough of the waffle. Let's just jump into the rail. So let's just get rid of the stuff that you've seen before out of the way super quickly. So I decided to get these Burberry shirts out of retirement. These were literally bagged up and put in my little vault, but I decided to whip them out again for summer 2019 for one last rodeo, just because I'm just super in love with Burberry. I love their whole aesthetic, their heritage, you know, that kind of thing. It's just super sick, especially vintage Burberry as well. I think it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. It got like de-gentrified, I suppose the word is, and was adopted by Chav Culture, and I absolutely love that whole aesthetic. Y2K, Pirate Radio, let's walk our pit bull staffies down the park. I've had these Burberry tops in my rotation for years now, so this is definitely going to be the last time I'm going to wear them. After this season, they're done. They're done out here. Moving on to the next one. <laughs> Another Burberry t-shirt. So again, I bought this last year from the actual Burberry store. It cost me like 180 pounds. It was a big purchase, but I was in the store. They finessed me. They came over, you know, oh, can I help you with anything? I couldn't stand there and be like, nah, I'm just window shopping. No, I had to let them know that I am a customer. So this was definitely an impulse buy, but I don't regret it in any shape or form. I just love how simple but effective it all is. People say that I wear this shirt too much, but I've only really worn it like a handful of times. I mean, it's not that deep anyway. It's a shirt. I mean, wear your clothes. This is definitely one of my favorite shirts. I do wear it quite a lot, especially when I go out, you've got a flex on them. And this is perfect for that. And you think that's the last you're gonna see of the Burberry in this haul? Is it a haul? Next, we have a t-shirt that I've only just gotten. So the guys at Bound sent me this super wavy shirt. This is perfect for summer. You know, I love the design of it. It's simple. I love the color of it. It's very vibrant. It does scream summer. You know, it's yellow. Reminds me of a sunflower. Anything that's yellow reminds me of sunflowers. Just don't ask. You've got that nice embroidery on the front there. Bound. You know, wearing it as well. It's just a super nicely made shirt. I'm not just saying that because he sent me the shirt. Like, I actually do like the shirt a lot. So hold tight, Bound, for this gifting. Next t-shirt that we have is something that I thrifted. This came totally out of the blue and from a charity shop that I don't really get a lot of heat from. And I'm not gonna call it heat, but just let me explain. It's a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, not just any Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. It's actually got their logo at the front there. Fam, let me just move these lights so you can actually see what I'm trying to show you. Yeah, so it's got a Fruit of the Loom logo at the front and I just think it's super funny and literal. Like people complain like, oh, you just wear Fruit of the Loom tees. It's like, and what, my good man? I'm a little bit vexed because I made spaghetti the other day and I've got some little spaghetti stains on here. So it needs to go back in the wash. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but they do need a wash. But yeah, an actual Fruit of the Loom t-shirt with the actual Fruit of the Loom logo. It's probably not that deep but I just thought it was a funny little find. It's more or less a plain white t-shirt with a little bit of like humor to it. So I will continue to wear the shirt for the entire summer. 
as soon as I get it washed. Hold tight, Daz. Next is a shirt you've seen a million times over. It's a palace shirt. It pretty much inspired the Have a Nice Day t-shirts because I liked the whole Greek statue aesthetic. So this is a classic shirt for me. It still sits in my rotation today. I don't use this shirt to go out, out. It's just something that I throw on. I don't even notice that it's palace anymore, which is a little bit weird. It, like, it, it's totally lost the whole novelty of it being palace. But for the one millionth time, here's a little close up. Easily one of my favorite t-shirts of all time. I think it was just super sick. The concept is mad. So hold tight, palace. Next is a t-shirt that not a lot of people know that I like. Again, found in a thrift store, broke boys forever, but I got this Star Trek The Next Generation t-shirt. You're gonna see a few of these literally. As a kid, I absolutely loved Star Trek. It was a super nerdy show. I didn't actually understand the concept at the time. You know, I just liked the idea of it, people in space. Anyway, we're talking about the t-shirt, not the show. In terms of a merch t-shirt, this actually bangs. You've got the Star Trek symbol in the middle there, but you've got an even bigger one at the back and you've got this whole speech face, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But if you want a little close up for yourself, here it is, Star Trek, the next generation. This is a super wavy t-shirt for me. I don't know, if you're a Star Trek fan, please let me know because I could have a conversation about it all day. Hold tight this Star Trek t-shirt. Next, of course, is another thrifted shirt. But this one I thought was a little bit funny. This is the Lanzarote Ironman Triathlon. This is like a volunteer shirt, but this was in 1995. Triathlon Championship 1995. And it's got all these different sponsors. Flipping Speedo sponsored this. Timex, Opal, Coca-Cola. I just thought it was a really funny shirt. And I think I actually held this shirt behind because I wanted to wear it at the gym. And I can confirm it functions very well as a gym t-shirt. You know, it covers your body. Very wavy t-shirt at the front. And there it is on the back looking at just as wavy. Look at all of those sponsors. I wish I had that many sponsors. Moving on to the next one. Again, from a thrift store. We've got my Nike ACG t-shirt. It's got mega cracking on the front there, but you know, I just use it as a gray t-shirt. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. This is just something I lounge around in. If I've got nothing to wear, then this will come out. It's quite long, like it's absolutely massive down here. So I tuck it in quite a lot. Or if I need a t-shirt to wear to bed, this is the one. It's like a boyfriend shirt, but I am the boyfriend and it's just too big for me, so whatever. It's a paradox t-shirt. Michigan, that was your close up and I think I bodged it. Next we have the Brada t-shirt. And fam, at first glance, yeah, like you look at it and it's like, oh yeah, that's a super sick t-shirt, you know, Prada. And it's like, I'll give you a close up quickly. And it's got like Prada going across the Prada. So it's like Prada times 10. It's cracking a little bit as well, but it's like, oh yeah, that's like a super vintage t-shirt. You know, very nice find my guy, well done, well done. Until you see the label that this Prada label is like aerial font, which makes you think this is like Times New Roman or something. I'm not gonna call it a fake shirt. It's definitely something that I would consider bootleg. Therefore it's okay to wear, loopholes my guy. But yeah, the Prada t-shirt. Fam, I just think it's funny. Oh no, half of my t-shirts are like joke t-shirts. Next is another Star Trek t-shirt, but this is the one that you got with the fact file. So they done a thing back in the 90s where you would buy these fact files every single month and put them in a big binder. We used to collect them because you know, why wouldn't you? And this is the t-shirt you used to get with it. I think we actually got one back in the day. I don't know what happened to that one, but this one, of course, I found in a thrift store. So quick close up i just like it because it's got the star trek logo on it oh fam i'm oh, i'm a big nerd fam and last but not least i'm gonna give you a quick second to guess is this gonna be a star trek t-shirt or literally any other t-shirt are you done guessing it's obviously gonna be another star trek t-shirt so this one i actually bought i didn't thrift this one but it is vintage so what's the difference the difference is, is that a very, very nice guy called Sam sold me this Star Trek t-shirt. Again, I think we've established that I like Star Trek The Next Generation, so this is literally a promo shirt for that. Got the Starship Enterprise, you've got Captain Jean-Luc Picard down there. This is like the waviest shirt ever, but super nerdy in its own right, but I actually don't care. I think it's a sick shirt. Quick close up if you're interested at all. There you have the Enterprise floating around in space, minding its own business. 
you've got the logo in the middle there and of course you've got Jean-Luc Bacard on the bottom very very nice and that is it for all of the t-shirts one two three four five six seven eight nine thrifted shirts out of 12 as soon as summer is over though these shirts are probably gonna go so keep an eye out on my depot page you know I had to slip it in there somewhere moving on to pretty much everything else these are the hats that I've been wearing recently yes they're not very lively because they're old and vintage of course they are. So firstly, we've got this virgin cap. You've got the USA, Great Britain, and Japanese flag on the front there. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. Maybe just the fact that virgin went international, like whatever. Beak is a little bit botched. And secondly, we have this Renault five times champion hat, 92 to 96. I don't know if they've won more since then, but I thought this was a super wavy hat as well. Next, we have shorts and trousers. I haven't really got a lot, again, Broke boy season. Firstly, we've got this pair of trousers because wearing jeans is so 2018, my guy. So I got these trousers from Top Man a little while ago now. It might even have been last year. Back when the trousers flex was super duper strong, that's when I bought these. All of my fancy check trousers just ended up back in a charity shop bin. I decided to keep these trousers just because I thought they were smart. You can wear them with a lot of things. They're on trend. You know, they're not quite in your face as opposed to like other trousers that you could consider more fast fashion. This is a little bit more timeless. But these cost me 30 pounds at the time. And I didn't realize this when I bought them, but if you look carefully, they have these little lines down them. So they're large pinstripes. Quick little close up of the top there. It's somewhat pleated as well, all the way down to the bottom. Look, ooh, in between the legs. That's what your mom said. Next, we have my short shorts. These do not cover much. They don't leave much to the imagination. Uh, they're not Speedos. These I got from a charity shop as well but I think you can buy very similar ones from like Urban Outfitters or something. But these are basically like swimming trunks. I, su you, I suppose you could go swimming in them. Is that what the knitting means? A super nice pair of shorts. I really like the color on them. They're green, yellow, and red. On the back there, you've got wild because you have to be wild to wear these. Again, this is mainly something that I have around the house or if I'm going down the shops, then, you know, this is the thing. Last but not least, we have the best pair of shorts of all time. Like... I was actually so gassed when I got these. We've got the Burberry shorts and I've checked these are real. I got these from a charity shop and fam, they were, how much did you say? A fiver? Yes, these cost me five pounds and these are my most worn pair of shorts of all time. Like I was so lucky as well because they were my size. I'm like 30 to 32 now because I used to be like 28 but then you gain some weight and now everyone calls you thick mate. These are my favorite pair of shorts. Like I was so gassed when I got these. I am the luckiest person to get these. So quick close up. You've got that classic Nova check on the front and on the back, but it needs a little bit of an iron, so we're just gonna gloss over it. But yes, but that's all well and good, big man. But what shoes are you wearing this summer? Broke boy season, so I don't have like 50 pairs of shoes to show you, but I have been beating the geodes out of these geodes. This is my new favorite silhouette of shoe the Yeezy 700 V2s. I think this is a really interesting colorway as well. It's not quite brown enough not to wear with other things. It's quite a neutral color. So I do wear it with everything. I wear it with every single outfit, shorts, trousers. I think I even went to a wedding in these. You know, they're super reflective as well. So you can wear these at night safely knowing that people will notice your Yeezys, I suppose. Hold tight the geodes. They do absolute bits. I love them. I did an entire video on these as well because if you buy a pair of Yeezys it's mandatory for any YouTuber to talk about them so and those were the shoes that I've mainly been wearing so this is everything that I have to show you today of course I've got other bits like plain t-shirts and plain pairs of shorts and that kind of thing that is my summer wardrobe at the moment it is by no means complete I just wanted to give you a little snapshot in time of what I've got at the moment maybe you can pick up some ideas for yourself for your wardrobe and of course, it's been an excuse to bust out the sick mate merch. Oh, did he let the cat out the bag too early? Can we get some chit in the chat? Can we get some Fs? There's a severe lack of Fs in the chat. Let me know what you've picked up this summer. And just a quick question, just to satisfy my own curiosity. Have you been to a festival this season? Or do you know anyone who's been to a festival this season? Let me know what you've been wearing this summer. What's the festival's been saying? And for anything else fashion related, if you just wanna ask me a question, then leave it all in the comment section down below. I do read every single one. If you like what I do here and you wanna 
support what I do, then consider subscribing to the channel. Just press the little subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when I upload a new video, then press the little bell icon as well. And YouTube may or may not give you notifications. And that's everything I have today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.